Assalamu alaikum, Ramzan Mubarak. Aapko. Very nice to see everybody again. Welcome back to Tech Shack. This is our third episode. And in the spirit of Ramzan, we wanted to continue to work towards building out some visuals on our social entrepreneurial capabilities in Pakistan. So today, we're going to change it up a little. Uh, my partner in crime, Yusuf Siddiqui, is going to be hosting Tech Karo, a very interesting social entrepreneurial venture going on in Pakistan. And with that, let me turn it over to you, Yusuf. And before I do that, I don't want to forget about our generous sponsors. We were introduced to Tech Karo by OpenDC, and Salaritas Solutions is helping us with the video editing here. Thank you, Yusuf. Please go ahead. Thanks, Farouk. We're so excited today to have Sadaf and Javed on the call. We've been talking about, in the previous episodes, about the Pakistani uh, startup tech scene, and, but there are lots of organizations and some special ones who are supporting that whole infrastructure in terms of talent, specifically um, tech talent in, for, in women. Uh, start off by asking Sadaf how she got involved in this and what are the uh, initiatives that, uh, that she's spearheading in Pakistan. Thank you so much. Firstly, I'm delighted to be here today. So my journey has uh, started from uh, financial inclusion, looking at women's economic empowerment and access to finance. And then I went for my master's. I was at Harvard Kennedy School and I came back to Pakistan after a brief stint in Dubai. And I started asking myself, how could I be of value uh, to this region? And how could we make a difference? 60% of Pakistan is young and there are not enough jobs. And that's where I came across technology. And this was like a aha moment that we need to bring more technology uh, type options to women. And the more I dived into it, I found that women were not part of this movement. So that was the inspiration behind Tech Karo. Let's increase access to technology and digital skills to women, improve gender diversity, and make women part of Pakistan's economy so that when these women progress, Pakistan progresses. That is terrific. And Javed, you have plenty of experience doing this on a global scale in terms of uh, talent, uh, women talent in tech. Uh, you've done it all across the world. What, what uh, insights have, have you gathered from the Pakistani context? We'd love to learn. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity, first of all. Thank you for being here. Uh, absolutely, one of, the, one of the more pressing topics uh, in the global scene right now and to get more diverse talent into the workplace. Um, you know, every time uh, I've, see, I've come across uh, exceptional talented Pakistan, most of them have been women. So, and it's not, again, like you said, in the Pakistani context. I was first introduced to it uh, wholeheartedly when I was uh, back in Salesforce um, in the U.S., where we uh, took a holistic look at why uh, there's a big gap between the number of uh, female executives uh, compared to the men. Sadaf and her team does in uh, Circle and Tech Karo. And they're, they're, what they've been able to do is package a lot of these learnings that they get globally from all these organizations into the 60% folks that uh, Sadaf just talked about, most of them females, and empowering them by giving them these easy to use tools for uh, growth and prosperity of the country. The fantastic work there. What is Circle? And then what is TechCo? What's the relationship? And let's just dig deeper into TechCo and, and, and talk about some of the impact. Right. So Circle is a nonprofit. And the belief behind Circle is that when you invest in women, you invest in communities. And that's how nations progress. Pakistan has only 25% of its women in, its, in the formal economy, one of the lowest in the region. So the inspiration was, how can we change this? So we have three verticals, entrepreneurship, technology, and leadership development. We also work with private sector and business leaders to get them to commit to gender diversity, to equality, to improving work practices. So it's more inclusive and more diverse. Uh, Tech Karo is uh, something very close to my heart. So it started with an experiment Engro Foundation and Engro Wopak actually supported us to incubate this idea. We partnered with Usman Institute of Technology in Gulchane Iqbal in Karachi, and we started inviting women who were living in slums and um, uh, underserved urban communities. Yeah, and Sadaf, can you share a story or two about um, uh, some of the, the participants in, in, your, in, the, in the recent cohort? How do they come in and, and what, what's happened? How do they find success? And 
Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, I think that's what keeps me inspired and keeps me on this path that how can we really scale this initiative? So I'll share with you recently, we had uh, Nas who was featured by Reuters and uh, it was covered extensively by Dawn and other local papers here also. So she lives in Baldia, which is one of the largest slums in the region. She had never stepped out of her community before. She heard of Tech Karo, she was a teacher and she wanted to improve her economic possibilities for herself and her family. So she joined us. We have had Kareem as a partner in our last two years. So they give us a promo code, which allows us to subsidize cost of transport. But because in Pakistan, actually women end up being dependent on their fathers, brothers, husbands, you know, for transport. Either they're, uh, you know, relying on them on bikes or the public transport, they're, sw they're changing buses three times. Uh, it's more expensive for them. It's more costly. So we wanted to reduce that for her. So she used to either take the bus or the Kareem. She completed the eight month course and then we connected her uh, with a company and she's working there as a software engineer now. A problem that's particular to Pakistan. So we have um, women in tech initiatives all over the world, um, especially also in our neighboring countries and, and around Pakistan. But what is a particularly Pakistani challenge when it comes to women in tech? I think what, what Sadaf alluded to is she just hit it on, on the head. It's, it's more of a cultural thing. Uh, most of the, the girls in the household are not considered equals in many cases as well for them to be able to go and have access to this economic opportunity. And I think what, what uh, TechCaro and, and Circle has been able to unpackage for them uh, a possibility uh, and allowed them uh, access to not just a skill, uh, but a life, a chance at life, pretty much. What kind of support uh, would be helpful to you? Uh, there are people who are watching this uh, Tech Shack episode globally, and Pakistanis who have an emotional connection to uh, Pakistan, not only Pakistan, but specifically the tech scene in Pakistan. So how can people support? I think there are many different ways that people can support. And in fact, we would love to have that kind of support. So one is uh, advisory support, because I think we've now got a model. Uh, we are running it online. We have a strong team, a culture where we have majority women working towards women's empowerment, but we also have young men in our teams who are our allies and our partners. So I think uh, it would be great for us to um, have advice and support around you know, scaling our initiative. Secondly, we also take in uh, mentors for our students. So I think if there's anyone at uh, you know, various tech companies uh, globally, they can now actually come online via Zoom and do a mentoring session with our students. And, you know, it just makes them excited if they know, oh, there's a Facebook executive coming in. And especially the women, I do a call out to the women who are in tech globally. We'd love to invite you to our mentoring sessions. I think it would really inspire the Pakistani youths, the Pakistani women to engage with you. We're also planning in the next few months to start inviting mentors to see the projects that the students are working on so they can coach them, guide them. That's another piece of uh, engagement that would be helpful. And I think the most important one is, you see, Yusuf, what I talked about early, we're giving skills, but ultimately we want them to start earning. That's very important for them and their families, for them to have that confidence, uh, that belief in themselves. Tell us, what about a key component of this, which is funding? How does that happen? How does this thing run? So I think that's, uh, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, as I mentioned, Engro Foundation, Engro Wopak, uh, we're very much uh, delighted to have their support from the very start. And we have commitment to go on for the next two years with them. But we are looking for additional funding. So uh, that is something very important because we can now, you know, I mean, the incredible thing is that I've been in Lahore. I mean, I've, I'm originally from uh, in Karachi, but I came to Lahore to be with my mom. I'm sitting in Lahore, my team sitting in their home. And over the last few weeks, we've launched a virtual online tech Karo project. So we want to now scale it. We would love to go to Bahawalpur and Muzaffargar and reach out to the young women there. So we need to hire more instructors. So we do need funding for that. Let me um, hand it over to Farooq now to get uh, his final insight. And he's been uh, hearing all of this. Farooq, what do you make of all of this? Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, Sadaf Javed, uh, 
I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have met you like this. It's very fortuitous. And it's interesting that the times we're living in today with this whole COVID situation, it's depressing. It, it's created a lot of problems for the world, but man, is it opening up some amazing opportunities to help and connect. So uh, on that note, uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you both for your uh, focused and dedicated efforts. This is amazing. Uh, I also want to pledge to you publicly my public commitment to you. I'm going to be figuring out ways to help you guys. I really like what you're doing. I think this is a great initiative for Pakistan. We're always available to you. If you want to contact us, Sadaf and Javed are readily available to us. If you have some ideas, initiatives, send us an email at start, S-T-A-R-T-K-A-R-O, at techshek.net. Like us on Facebook. Go to our YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram. Please, this initiative works well when everybody pitches in. A minute each, that's all I ask. A minute or maybe even a dollar each. So in any ways, in any case, thank you very much both for your time today. Thank you, Yusuf, for hosting. We look forward to seeing you again and uh, Eid Mubarak in advance and everybody stay healthy and safe.